Coming up this week on The Standpoint. Friends who I've been with in the school for a long time, like you would never notice it's happening to them. But when I pushed this out to them, like they all came to me, it's like, Kimberly, this has happened, this has happened. And I'm like, wow. So like, they come and tell their stories and all that. And I was like, okay, let me put this into a podcast. If my friend had a sanitary pad dispenser in the washroom, mm. she wouldn't have had to walk three minutes to the nurse's office while bleeding, uncomfortable, no one to speak to. Thanks to AIS, AIS is the first school that has committed to installing sanitary pad dispensers in their washrooms. I know what it's like being in pediatric oncology ward. It's not somewhere that the proper care that we are supposed to give to people who have cancer or even sanitation wise and medicine is able to provide. We had a, a nurse who works at Kolibu that we went to church with. And she, when she saw Mamsi at the hospital, took care of a lot of her treatment. So she is the one that I spoke to and she expressed that they really need the funds. And I asked that if we are to send the funds, would it be used or would it go into somebody's pocket? Mm -hmm.